Stay frosty and head over to EasyMutt.com for the cheapest mutt coins on the market. And when I say cheapest, I mean it. We're talking 1 million coins for around 40 bucks. Use code DIRECTOR for 5% off. Yo, what up, brothers? What's up? It's the Director. Chargers fans, we got a big one today. Today we're going to be trying to predict the winners for the National Football League's honors. This is, of course, like the uh, Academy Awards of the NFL, awarding the best performances, the best players throughout the 2020 season. And Chargers fans have a lot of stake in this one, of course, because we all feel that Justin Herbert, after giving us perhaps the best rookie quarterback season in NFL, history has a good shot at claiming one of these awards but i will remind you guys nothing is a for sure thing just as we saw derwin james lose out to uh darius leonard for off or defensive rookie of the year his season anything could happen so you have to have your fingers crossed but i'm going to give you guys my best shot at who i think is going to win every single award not just rookie of the year so it should be a really good one guys as a reminder the nfl honors is going to be airing on february 6th at 8 p.m eastern i will be streaming the nfl honors i won't be able to show the stage or anything like that i think but i will be streaming my reaction keeping you guys up to date with who wins on february 6 at 8 p.m eastern okay so keep that in mind stay frosty i'll be live during the event additionally if you guys are wondering you know how this kind of stuff works take a look at some of the winners from last season you'll remember that mvp was awarded to lamar jackson last season uh, michael thomas offensive player of the year stefan gilmore defensive player of the year etc etc uh kyler murray uh with his i think five and eleven cardinals taking home offensive rookie of the year last season so keep that in mind chargers fans you don't have to have a huge record in in order to take home the award on top of that nick bosa with defensive rookie of the year and then comeback player of the year in ryan Tannehill, and i think i did actually pick a coach of the year as well in my prediction so should be very interesting guys i'm excited we've got a lot to go over but first guys i have a couple of super exciting announcements for one we are opening up a brand new giveaway for a signed keenan allen jersey this one can be won by anybody that is subscribed to this channel there is going to be a link in the description takes you to a site gives you very simple instructions on how to enter and you'll notice that there is a different youtube channel to visit in order to get three entries yes sirs i have opened up a brand new youtube channel the director madden ultimate team football and this is the beginning of a transition for this channel eventually this channel is going to be 100 charges we're going to continue running madden stuff uh, for a little while at least and then transition all of the madden stuff over to the new channel so if you guys are a fan of madden ultimate team that's where you're going to be able to find all of the new content honestly guys i put a lot of work into that one the opener is fantastic the new format for showing cards and stats is fantastic and this is all being done in an effort to fully dedicate this page to the chargers while also giving more content for madden ultimate team on the other page so if you guys want a chance to win that uh, signed keenan allen jersey make sure to hit up that link in the description again subbing to that channel is worth three entries you can get additional entries for following like Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that. Super exciting times, guys. I'm super excited to get more Chargers content on this channel. Throw a ton of Madden content on the other channel and just grow with you guys. My honest guys, thank you so much again for all the support you guys have given me on this channel. The growth has been great. The new channel I'm fully expecting to be awesome. And it really comes down to you guys. So thank you so much. Uh, let's get into this one, guys. Before we do, hit us up with a like and sub if you do enjoy this content. Small amount of time you guys take to hit the like, sub, and bell notification helps me out a lot. Let's get into this video. Lights, camera, action. The NFL honors prediction video. I'm excited. This was a crazy year, of course, in the midst of the pandemic. Tons of different unknown aspects coming into the season. And still, I think we had a pretty good year. So let's get into who I think is going to be taking home each one of these awards, starting with MV. P, who do I feel was the most valuable player in the NFL season for 2020? And I'm going to say it was actually Aaron 
Rodgers. Now, of course, we're doing all of these, not just the Chargers Offense Rookie of the Year, and Aaron Rodgers, 100 million percent, in my opinion, deserves the title of MVP. It led the league with 48 touchdowns. Honestly, is this we're going to be taking a look at the stats of all these guys as well, man. An offensive juggernaut. Take a look at his stats this season, 4,000. 299 yards, placing seventh in the league at first with 48 touchdowns to only five interceptions. I feel like a lot of people last season were bagging on Aaron Rodgers. They went after Jordan Love in the draft. Maybe that lit a fire under his butt to really go out there and put it all on the line in the 2020 season. And it really did show, man, a fantastic season for Aaron Rodgers. I feel like most people would probably agree that he's the guy we're going to be seeing walk up on that stage on February 6th to claim the award for MVP. Just an absolute incredible season. Next up, this one was a little bit more difficult for me. There's a couple of names uh, for offensive player of the year that came to mind for me. One of them being Stefan Diggs, who I think just had such a resurgence uh, with the Buffalo Bills and Jared Allen. That was definitely on my radar, but for me, I think it's pretty much said and done. A lot of people are going to agree with this one to Derrick Henry now. Unfortunately, Derrick Henry fell short in the playoffs. Uh, obviously, very disappointing to the later half of that season. I'm hoping it wasn't due to wear and tear from such an incredible year with the Titans, uh, who he carried all season. But we're looking at the eighth ever player to eclipse 2,000 rushing yards. Honestly, when you talk about a single player carrying a team, Derrick Henry certainly does come to mind. I should know he was on my fantasy squad. He carried my team as well. Just ridiculous numbers, ridiculous performances by Derrick Henry. And honestly, I think the most deserving player, I mean, it's kind of close between him and Stefan Diggs, but to me, if I had to have somebody edge it out, it's probably going to be Derrick Henry. Now we're gonna go on to the next category, which was probably one of the hardest ones for me and also one of the easiest ones for me in defensive player of the year. Now last season, uh, this player got snubbed for this award in favor of Stefan Gilmore, in my opinion. And I do feel like sometimes this award is kind of swayed to the defensive back that has the most picks this season. So in contention for this award, certainly, in my opinion, is Xavier Howard. I think he had something like 10 interceptions this year. Uh, the, the Miami Dolphins secondary was absolutely insane this season. But I'm going to go ahead and give it to the man who I've been a huge fan of the last couple of years, and that's TJ Watt. TJ Watt. What a season this year. What a season last year as well. Just one of those defensive monsters in 2020 and in 2019. This year leading the league in sacks, tackles for loss, and QB hits. I don't know, man. I just feel like sometimes a player stands out to you as like a leader of a defense, a reason, the fire, the, the, the life of a defense. And to me, it's definitely going to be TJ Watt. He, to me, is the centerpiece of the Steelers' Uh, pass rush who in my opinion was probably one of the best in the league this season and tj watt man i think 100 million percent deserves defensive player of the year man dude what a season for him and what a future uh for him and the pittsburgh steelers going forward just keep in mind too i was talking a little bit about jj watt the other day how crazy would it be if uh, jj watt went to play with his brother tj watt and the pittsburgh steelers insane season for tj congratulations such an incredible year i hope he brings home the award now we're coming to the coveted question for a lot of people on this video who takes home the award for offensive rookie of the year there's two names, okay? Two names that come to mind to a lot of people. One being a uh, rookie uh, wide receiver in Justin Jefferson, who I think broke the record for yards by a wide receiver, rookie wide receiver, and he had a stellar season. But honestly, when it really comes down to it, we're talking about two different positions, right? One of which is probably a little bit tougher to play in the league in quarterback versus wide receiver. So for me, I think it was difficult, but both easy at the same time. Uh, Justin Jefferson had an incredible year, but I do not think he's going to be able to edge out Justin Herbert's incredible quarterback rookie season. And you guys have heard me talk about Justin Herbert for very many uh, weeks now, talking about, you know, if he could be the offensive rookie of the year. This was like three months ago, man, like uh, three or four games into the season. I was like, dudes, I, I think Justin Herbert's going to win uh, offensive rookie of the year. Uh, even talking in rookies in general, if there was an award for just rookie of the year in the NFL honors, it would probably be Justin Herbert because what a season he had.
He broke almost every quarterback record uh, in the NFL for a rookie in total uh, touchdowns, passing touchdowns, completions, multi-touchdown games. Uh, the only one that he fell short of was Andrew Luck's yardage record, of which he fell short 30 yards. And keep in mind, Justin Herbert only played 15 games this season. He missed one game, so if he had played that one other game, he would have uh, both bolstered his stats as far as the uh, touchdowns and completions, but he also would have likely beat, uh, he would have beat Andrew Luck's record as well for the yardage. So the Chargers got themselves a franchise quarterback right off the bat. Taking a look at some of his stats here, 4,336 yards, again, 30 yards short of the record, 31 touchdowns, again, in 15 games. Games. Needs to work on the interceptions a little bit, but for a rookie, man, these numbers are absolutely wild. So 100 million percent, in my opinion, Justin Herbert must win Offensive Rookie of the Year. Now, we need to move on here, guys. We still have Defensive Rookie of the Year to go over. This one was pretty evident to me. I think it was a very easy pick. It's going to be Chase Young. And Chase Young was one of those prospects that we definitely felt had a really good shot at this, the same way we felt about Nick Bosa last year. And he definitely went out there and performed, taking a look at some of his stats here, man. Seven and a half sacks, 32 solo tackles. My goodness, man. Uh, forced fumbles, four. And I do think he had a touchdown as well, if we take a look at his stats here. Uh, defensive, yeah, man. Like, he had an absolute incredible season so I just I don't know man when you're taking uh, right here where it says scoring right here uh, one touchdown right there in fumble so I don't know man like it's just it seems pretty evident to me the other rookies but there were some pretty good rookies this season but I do think Chase Young is the obvious winner when it comes to the NFL Honors Award okay Last couple of awards coming in now, guys. This one's pretty special, and I do feel like it's going to go to another Washington football team player, and it's going to be the Comeback Player of the Year. I, it's got to be Alex Smith, right? I mean, there's a, a chance, or there's an argument to be made that it could be Aaron Rodgers. Like, he he really came back after a bum year last season and, and is likely going to win MVP. But the story of Alex Smith is, is both uh, inspiring and incredible. Uh, he, returning after a devastating injury last season or several seasons ago, 17 surgeries to get back on the field. And he helped lead this Washington team into the playoffs. So just wow, man, I can't think of another team with a record like the Washington football team that has a player more impressive to me than Alex Smith. What a story. What an inspiration. And I really hope that they make the right decision and choose him for a comeback player of the year. As a matter of fact, we'll take a look at some of his stats here. Of course, he did not play a lot of the season, but, you know, still uh, 1500 yards, six touchdowns. It's incredible, a incredible accomplishment for someone who, you know, at some point was was there was talk of him losing his leg, you know, again, 17 surgeries to come back into the NFL inspiring stuff now the last thing we got to go over is coach of the year which yes i did select one for and i think a lot of people when you really think about it it's a no-brainer and it's going to be kevin stefanski of the cleveland browns you're talking about a guy a team uh, that's just been cursed or something for the past ever and he was able to take them into the playoffs winning record the cleveland browns are no pushovers anymore man the cleveland browns uh, finishing with a record of 11 and 5 of course making a very nice playoff push this is a team to look out for in the 2021 season and i do think it comes back down to uh, kevin stefanski his leadership um if there was an award for if they had an award called the jimmy garoppolo award as well i do think he would win <laughs> it's a good looking coach he's brought up a good looking team as far as stats as far as performance and really what a bounce back year or I should say a year of growth for the Cleveland Browns. Cause I can't really think of a bounce back year that there's like, Oh my God, you know, their playoff push 11 and five, nothing like that. He really transformed them into a very respectable unit out there in Cleveland. So, well guys, that's going to be it. Uh, everybody in the comments, let me know the, the big debate right now is Justin Herbert versus Justin Jefferson. I think that's probably one of the closest ones on this list. Let me know your arguments for Justin Herbert versus Justin Jefferson. I know there's going to be a lot of maybe Vikings fans coming to this video saying, yo, it's going to be Justin Jefferson. And I'm not throwing any shade on the guy. He had an incredible season talking about two different positions and one of them <laughs> quarterback being the best ever in several categories, you know, rather than just, you know, yardage. So I don't know, just, just help me out in that category down there guys. And also put some of your picks for these other awards. If you feel like MVP is going to go to somebody else, there's a case to be made for Josh Allen offensive rookie of the year or a player of the year, maybe in uh, Stefan Diggs. You guys let me know your arguments in the comment section below. Well guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, remember to hit up the brand new channel. Go hit it with a like, hit it with a sub, uh, jump into 
to the first video that I posted today, drop a comment, say, stay frosty. Let me know you guys are coming in from this channel. It would really mean a lot to me, guys, especially if you're in the Madden Ultimate Team. We have a lot of fun stuff in store over there. And then remember to go hit it up with a uh, subscription through the link so you guys can be entered to win that Keenan Allen jersey. Well, again, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This has been The Director. We'll see you next time. And as always, bolt up and stay frosty.